So one of my most common comments that I get on my videos is that We miss the old Emma. Emma has changed. She sucks now. Oh, I used to like her and now she sucks. Oh, she sucks. Fuck. Oh, Emma J really sucks now. So that's a um, majority of my comment section. No, I'm just kidding. But I do get a lot of comments like that, which is cool. You know, you are entitled to your opinion and I am all ears. It doesn't mean it's good for my self-esteem, but that's okay, because I can handle that with my therapist. A lot of people miss the old me. You know, I used to be blonde and like more annoying in my opinion and a lot more sad. So that was the old Emma Chamberlain, whatever that means. Now I'm apparently very different. You know, I grew up a little bit, I moved out. I moved to LA, like, I don't know. In my opinion, I feel like I like myself better now because I'm more myself than I've ever been. So I'm pretty content with the place that I'm in. You know what I mean? And so those comments, you know, again, therapist discussion that will be happening. But today I'm gonna be turning myself into the old Emma Chamberlain because I'm in the city of San Francisco right now, this is kind of where I grew up, not really, I grew up like near San Francisco, but I just say I grew up in San Francisco because it's like easier to say than being like, well, I grew up south of San Francisco and it was actually not as cool as San Francisco. Like I sound a lot cooler when I say I grew up in San Francisco, but I'm here and so I thought in honor of being here, I would transform myself into the old me. I just got this idea literally five minutes ago and I was like, wait, that would be kind of funny because I'm here. So like, and I'm kind of getting nostalgic. I thought I would, turn myself into the old Emma Chamberlain. Give you guys what you really want. Cause this, we hate this. We miss the blonde, really sad Emma Chamberlain. So today we're bringing her back for the day. Don't get too comfortable because after today I'm gonna be back to this. So I'm turning myself into the old me. Um, and to get this like kicked off, I ordered my old Phil's order because I get a different thing now. This won't make sense if you don't know what Phil's is cause their orders are super weird. Like the menu is super weird, but this is a large ice dancing water. If you don't know what that means, I don't know how to explain it. Now I get a Jacob's Wonder Bar with almond milk, but instead of getting my current order, which is a Jacob's Wonder Bar, I got the dancing water. It does taste nostalgic to me. I used to drink that every day when I was the old Emma Chamberlain, so I got that to kick this off. But now let's get started with the transformation. I'm gonna have to like kind of dig deep because I kind of forgot who that person was. Although it's like the same person, but like I forgot what my like, what my trademark moves were, so. Let me think and then we'll start. Fuck the new Emma Chamberlain, that bitch sucks! I'm in a hotel room right now and everybody's probably like, who, who is screaming? Want to know who's screaming? The new Emma Chamberlain. And she fucking sucks! I thought about it a little bit and I was like, okay, what did the old Emma Chamberlain do? She didn't wear makeup. And I'm wearing a little bit of makeup right now because I'm breaking out. You know, I didn't used to wear makeup, I think, because I was just really lazy. I like makeup now, you know? I mean, I don't wear it too often, but like, I dapple. You know, the old Emma Chamberlain doesn't wear makeup, so it's coming off. I do like, like buying makeup though and like trying out new products. Like, I never cared about that before. I don't know if that's like a getting older thing. Like. As you get older, you start to, I don't know. And I also have really bad under eye bags right now. Like this is really severe. I don't think my under eye bags used to be as bad back in the day, um, in the good old days. I just cannot get my fucking mascara off for my life ever. She's bare faced. It's not, it's not the cutest, but step one complete. Makeup off. Now that I'm barefaced, I was thinking like, okay, like how am I gonna turn myself into the old me? Cause I still have the same face, but like I have a few different traits now. I definitely dress differently now. I mean, my style does change every week, but I had like a pretty, I was wearing like the same thing over and over again back in the day. I like even shopped at different stores. Like I, I feel like I shop at different stores now and I just kind of like, my style's a little different, so I need to go shopping and I need a wig because I used to be blonde and now I'm not. Let's get out there. Ah! Our first victim. No way. No way. Victim number two. Oh 
Okay, I'm back. I literally am so scared to put this outfit on right now because like I didn't just do outfit, like I did it all. Like this is about to be like exact and I'm like scared to see what I look like as like my old me. Let's get into it, I guess. Why, why waste any more time? Okay, so here's my outfit right now. Very comfortable, but it's not what we want. So we need to change. I'm gonna do a cool transition and it's gonna be pretty sick, so. Voila! Oh my God. This is crazy accurate. I used to just have a uniform every single day. I would literally wear a fuzzy jacket exactly like this. I used to wear Doc Martens in plaid pants in this type of jacket every single day. I literally wore this jacket every day. I think I still have it at like my mom's house somewhere because I like didn't want to throw it away because I wore it so much that it like became my thing. Like I couldn't get rid of it, but this isn't enough. <laughs> I used to be blonde, okay? But it was like kind of a blonde where like my roots were always showing, like you could always see the brown. It was like not, I didn't keep up with my blonde because I'm not a natural blonde. I just always had like half grown out blonde hair. It was not really a look, but whatever. I couldn't just do this without getting a wig that was just like that. And I had to do some searching, but you'll never guess what I found. Y'all, this is the most accurate wig. I literally, I fucking, I almost passed out on the spot. This wig is insanely accurate because I always had like roots like this growing out with the blonde and then I freaked out when I found this. I was so excited. Although this hair is like a lot prettier than mine ever was. Like look how nice that is. I swear to God, I'm gonna put this on and want to be blonde again, which is like kind of a bad thing, but whatever. Oh my God. Why is there a lump right there? Guys, it's the old me. Did you miss me? Fuck you. This looks awful. Did I like put it on wrong? It like doesn't look real at all. I, I'm trying, okay? Oh my God, I look like shit. Okay, so now it's time to accessorize. Thank God I bought a beanie because yeah, this wig is like just not really doing its, its work. It's just not doing a good job right now. Wait, that kind of helped. Oh my God. Scrunchies. Yay, it's Visco girl. Oh God, that word is triggering for me. Okay, I used to fucking carry around this backpack literally everywhere I went and then I ripped it or something happened to it and then I stopped. So rest in peace to that backpack. Miss you so much. Thank you for all your service. Um, And last but not least, holy shit. Thumbnail. Okay, this is the big reveal. One. Two, three. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> no! Wait, I fucking, well, I mean, obviously I nailed this. This is like me. Like I'm literally just dressed up as myself. Wait, can I be me for Halloween? Okay, sorry that I'm like setting up my camera in the bathroom. I just literally have no space in this hotel room. Holy shit. God, this is hilarious. This was me. I don't really have anything else to say. Like, I did it, okay? I'm gonna do this outro on my toilet because I feel like that's what old Emma would have done. So, here I am. Did you miss me? I'm back, guys. You can't comment shit on this video about, we miss the old Emma, bitch. She's right here. Okay, fuck that. Honestly, I'm literally on the toilet. Honestly, I... Wait, what the fuck is that? Well, I can't ignore it now. Now I have to fix it. Okay, I almost just broke my entire camera. Literally, I just can't get the fucking camera angles right today. That was fun, that was funny and all, but I don't miss that bitch, okay? I have to keep growing and evolving or else I'm gonna get bored of myself. I'm kinda glad that I'm, I'm who I am now. Although these pants are actually really cute and I'm really glad I bought them, so no regrets there. This was fun, I, yeah, um, comment down below if you miss her. Uh, I don't actually, I've decided. She had her time to shine, we loved her, and she's dead now. Also, I think my hair looks better brown. Mm. I like wanna go blonde once a week. But I'm not gonna do it. Anyway, I was a literal visco girl when I was like, like two years ago or whatever, like I 
was a visco girl. You know, I'm... Do I start ranting about this? Okay, well, apparently I'm a visco girl. According to the internet, I would like to correct whoever says that and say that I used to be a visco girl and now I'm... an e-girl. Like, wait, am I an e-girl now? Okay, I just need to fucking end this video. Yo, fuck that.